Hello and welcome back to art class. Uh, today we're going to be working on a new picture. Uh, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a white piece of paper. You're going to want uh, an eraser, a pencil. Um, you're going to want some crayons. And you may want to have your parents around a little bit for just a smidge of help for this. The other thing you're going to need is your hand. Okay, what we're going to be making is a picture, a uh, spring picture, because uh, it's in this month of March, and March is the beginning of spring. So I want to do a picture of a robin. Okay? And there's a couple things that we need to do uh, to get this paper ready. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our white paper, and we are going to just fold it in half just so we can kind of space things out a little bit. Notice I am folding it in half like a book. Okay, That way things will fit where they're supposed to go. All right. Next, uh, we're going to need to trace our hand. Our hand is gonna go up here on the top half, but if I put my hand down, uh, for me, because I'm an adult, my hand is a bit big. You, as a, as a student, your hand is a little bit smaller, so it's gonna fit. So what I did was, I came up with my a mini hand. Okay, so pretend this is your hand that I'm going to do, all right? Uh, Remember, you're going to use your hand and you're going to put it down. You could have your hand going this direction too if you'd want. Uh, in fact, some people who are right-handed would find it easier to have it going that direction. Uh, okay, so you're going to put your hand down like this. Okay, you need your fingers going towards the side. Your thumb needs to be close to the fold. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to trace your hand. Now, um, I'm going to tilt this a little bit more so it's just the thumb pointing at the uh, fold here. And your parents might want to give you a hand with helping you trace this because it can be a little difficult. Uh, you like to keep the pencil straight up and down as you, as you can, and I know it can be a little ticklish to trace your hand. So just be careful. I'm going to trace this hand. Now remember, you're actually tracing your real hand. My hand is too big, so I had to make a paper one that would fit. Make sure to take your time and make it look good. Don't be sloppy with your tracing. You don't need to do the whole arm. You just need to go to uh, right around the bottom of your hand there. Okay, so he looks like that. So the hand's going sideways. All right, next. Uh, this is gonna be part of the bird. This is gonna be their feathers and part of their wing, and we're going to put a head on there. So this part is pretty easy. It's just a rounded shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in Like this, almost like it's your wrist going off like that. It's nice around him. Okay. And I'm gonna put a beak on it, which is basically a triangle. I need to put an eye on it. Okay, that's pretty much a circle. Okay. Uh, robins have a red uh, feathers on the front of them, on the red breast is what it's called. And so we're gonna need to put a curved line underneath the beak and almost down uh, into your thumb. So watch how I do this. It's just kind of like a big frown is really what it's gonna look like. Or a big hill, like that. So this will be uh, a red-orange color and the feathers here will be a brownish color because that are, those are the colors of a robin, an American robin, okay? Uh, another thing we're going to do, since we have our pencil before we do any coloring today, is uh, we need to make it so it looks like this bird is standing on a branch. That is going to be really easy. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we did the fold, is we're going to draw a line right on the fold, straight across. It doesn't have to be perfect, so if it wobbles a little bit, that's okay. Then, right underneath, we're going to do another line this. So this is the thickness of the branch. We want it to be at least as thick as your thumb. You do need to have a little bit thick. So you should be able to fit your thumb inside the line. 
If it was a little bit thicker, that's okay. All right, that's one part of the branch, but I also would like the branch to split off like they do on trees where another branch is growing off this way. So I'm just gonna have it slanted. I'm gonna try to go kind of straight. And again, I want this branch to be about as thick as my thumb, like that. Okay, so we have a branch here. We have a branch going slanted here. We are going to be putting something in this open space down here next week. This week, we're just getting some drawing done and some of the basic coloring done, okay? All right, so we got this. The next thing I need us to do is, uh, once we have the branches done, we need to look like, make the bird look like he's, or she is standing on the actual branch. So we need to put some legs on there. And we should make sure the legs actually touch the branch. And make sure the legs are pretty close together. The bird's legs are actually pretty close together. Okay? We wouldn't have one leg way up here in the front or way back here in the back. Okay. This is done for the basic drawing. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of coloring today, and that's where we'll leave it. So we're going to get the coloring taken care of. Uh, the colors we're going to need are pretty simple today. Uh, the main color we need is a brown, so i got to find my brown. There it is. My brown's kind of small. And the brown is going to be this top part of the bird. What I recommend that we do, and i got to erase my little line here. There we go. Is that we outline this first so we know what is supposed to be brown and what is not. And I'm going to go around the eye because the eye is actually not supposed to be colored either. Then we're going to leave that blank for right now. Then take your time, doing a good job coloring in. So we're gonna color that part in. I and mean, since we have the brown out, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the branches as well, because the branches should be brown as well. Leave a, go ahead and it's okay. I'm gonna go over my feet, but I'm gonna go over them very lightly right there, because I'm gonna put a color over the top. So I just want a little bit of light brown where the feet are. And the rest I'll color like normal. Okay, next. I need, uh, in your crayon set, usually there is a uh, red-orange color. Find mine. Here it is, red-orange. Uh, we don't want orange, we don't quite want red, we want something in between, so I got my red-orange. And that's the color of the uh, chest of the birds. Okay? So I'm going to outline where I want it to be. And I'm also gonna use the same color for the legs. Real, the real American Robins have kind of a red brownish color. Um, so I, that's why it was okay for us to kind of put a little bit of brown over the tips of their feet. We're just gonna go with mostly the uh, orange color here just because it's a little bit easier to do. All right, we've got two more colors left. All right, we need a yellowish color. It's best to do just maybe plain yellow for the beak, because that's typically, they have a yellowish beak. Sometimes their beaks get a little dirty when they're digging in the mud, but uh, they have a yellowish beak. And they also have a black eye. Their eyes are actually black, so I need to find a black. That's gonna be really easy. Take your time, make sure that looks good. And then the last thing I'd like you to do is give our background area a little bit of color. Um, I am going to go with a blue, probably the lighter color blue that you can find the, you can, uh, is best. And I'm just going to give it a light color. 
because they're up in the tree. So we're not gonna see any ground and I'm just gonna give it a light blue. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm trying to stay inside my lines. Okay, uh, so this is the first part. Next week, we are going to be adding a little bit to this, but this is gonna take a little while for all the coloring because it's a lot of coloring going on and a lot of drawing. So I need you to get this far, take a photo of it, upload it to me, but don't lose the sheet because there is a second week to this. I know it looks almost finished, but there is a second week. So make sure you hold on to this. Upload it to Google, uh, to Seesaw for me, and I will see you next week to wrap this up.